Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is just going to be a quick video explaining how to mod Kingdom Hearts on PC. We mod the videos that are already up prior to the release of this is slightly different. That's a program that you just open alongside the game and hit play and works in conjunction. I'm going to show you how to add files that other people are making custom. So let's say hypothetically you want to take away the wall effects. So when Sora is running up a wall, you don't see the shimmer running up. There's a custom mod for that that you would put into the files. I'm going to show you how to do that. Spoiler alert, that's the next video I'm doing, showing you how to take those wall effects off. So this is going to be really simple. I'm going to keep my screen on the video the whole time so you can watch what I'm doing. So first you want to find your files, right? Your actual game files. When you downloaded it from Epic Games, the actual like game itself, you know, like the document folder. There you, there we go. That's <laughs> that's how you say it. This is the main reason I'm making this video cuz I know for some people it's a little tricky to find. I know for me it took me a ridiculous amount of time <laughs> to find it. If I can do this, you can do this. This is actually really easy. I am the most technologically illiterate person you'll ever find. So the default for games from Epic, where it's going to go, is into your hard drive. So I have my documents open here, right? I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I'm going to go into my hard drive. And then you're going to go into your program files. And then you're going to go into Epic Games. And boom, it's right there. Kingdom Hearts 3. That's it. A really easy thing to do, so you don't have to hunt for this every time, is you can right-click it. Well, okay, apparently it matters where you right click it too. I didn't know that until just now. You right click it above the actual name and then you do pin to quick access right there and it'll pin it right on the side, right at the top underneath your actual documents and such. Once you're in here, you're gonna go into Kingdom Hearts 3, content, and then you're gonna go into packs, right? What you wanna do now is right click and make a new folder in here. You're gonna name this little squiggle sign <laughs> mods don't ask me why the squiggle i honestly truthfully do not know but i tried naming it just mods just mods and it didn't work until i added the squiggle anyone who knows what they're doing right now who's watching this video is going to be sitting there making fun of me it's okay have at it uh that's got to be some kind of command for the folder to recognize that it's using the mods or whatever you don't need the folder it just makes it easier assuming you're going to be using more than one to have them organized and if you ever want to go and take one out that way it's easier to find so you're not hunting through the actual game files and delete something that's necessary and then when you download a mod from the internet you're just going to go in your mod folder after you download it you're just going to pop it right in there that's all there is to it so moving forward whenever i put out a video talking about a new mod new custom mod i'm just going to mention that it is one of these yet yeah, you have to download the pack i'm gonna have a link in the description where to get it i just want to make this video so i don't have to explain this every single time i hope this is able to help at least someone out if this helped at least one person this was worth it thank you for watching if you liked the video subscribe and more mod videos on the way and i'll catch you then bye bye